M0FXV, welcome back to the channel. On the right hand side we've got the iRadio UV98, on the left we've got the new Quashang TK11. This is the sort of Stroke 8 model and it does have HF. So we've got the antenna connected to our HF, yeah you just press the bottom button, you're in HF mode here. And you can see, let's see if we can find anyone. Someone there. 7.183. Right. Now let's add an antenna here on the... We'll just move that frequency up to 7.183. I'll poke an antenna on there. It is a 3.5 jack in the middle, so... You do have to wiggle it a bit, but let's add one. So these are sort of... One's a G5RV. So there you go. LSB, change the mode here. And then I'll turn up the iRadio. That's clearly... And the way you change frequency is you move this arrow with the star. You move the arrow up and down until you're next to the star. So let's turn that down. I can hear him there in the background. Let's swap antennas so we can't say it's the antenna. And then maybe there are settings that I can change on the TK11. So turning down the TK11. So at the moment, I'm getting a lot of interference on the TK11. I'm going to wiggle around with the connector. Ah. I'd say that it was probably the connector then. So you just go easy with your connector. I've pulled it out a bit. You know, and, I, and then it's, I can hear it better. It's at full volume, and I'm going to swap the connector as well. But here's the iRadio, the Radto 880. So when the connector's good, then I think it was more comparable. Let me try a different adapter. Turn down the TK11. They both do airband. VHF. We're listening to the iRadio now. VHF, VHF. Right, I've got a different contain connector now. So let's just pull it out. And turn this down. Now I got these four cheap ones from Amazon. I've got this gold one that I know always works well. So I'm just going to get that in there and then try it. The problem we've got is when you use 3.5, you have to then really get a, a BNC. Let's poke that in. That's better. So I would say get the gold coloured one. That's a lot better. Yes. Look at the difference that made. Right, six nine.
Turn this one down. Let's completely swap, shall we? You do have to, I would say you do have to turn it full volumes. So I would say it could do with some amplification, really. It's okay. Ah, I spoke too soon. My radio. Fine tune here, star. So yeah, they both work well. Now if we go to the B band. I'm going to put in air band here. Well, oh. cancel. One, three, three, eight, five, zero. Now this one, supposedly, ah, were we on twin receive here? Let's go back to the A. Twin receive is one of these buttons, isn't it? Is it three? Scanning begins. No. <laughs> It is in dual receive. Go menu. Go to work. Work. Dual. Get the balance. Let's go. It won't let me. Do the balance thing now. Uh, move it all the way up to the A. Turn it up. Hmm. Yeah. Look at the difference that makes. And this is what Chris was telling me. It does work, but the the, the three point five isn't too. The 3.5 is a bit of a pain, to be honest. You have to wiggle it a bit. Anyway, I thought I'd show you. I like them both for different reasons. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.